Well, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signals. We're in the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to the arcade, going to Python. And then we're in the section here drilling the lists. Number 61 math practice. Uh, little Billy is not too good with numbers and having trouble even multiplying and adding them. He needs some practice and you are the one helpful fellow who can give him a list of numbers to practice on. Given a list of numbers, Billy should calculate the following value. All right. So basically, you add the first two numbers, then multiply the, so this is the index, so this is the third number, and then add the fourth number, etc. So, so you've got this list of numbers, one through six, and the outcome that you return should be 71 because you're adding 1 plus 2 and then you're multiplying by 3 then adding 4 and then multiplying by 5 and then adding 6. So you're altern alternating between addition and multiplication and basically you're accumulating a number and then multiplying or adding to it. So how would you do that in code? So here's an example of code that you could do that with. So this is in the func tools uh, package. There is a function called reduce. What reduce does is you can uh, take a list of numbers and you can either take you know this accumulated sum, the running sum of them, or the running product or whatever you want to do based on the function that you give it. So that's this lambda function here. Uh, but first I'll go through what we're putting into the into the uh, reduce function and that's what we're doing is we're taking enumerate numbers so what enumerate does here I've commented what you would return um, so you've got this list from 1 to 6 and what enumerate does is it gives you tuples with the index and the value at that index so if you remember Python starts with a zero index so the first index is zero and so it's the index 0 and then the value at that index which is 1 and then the next index 1 and the value at that index which is 2 etc. So that's what we're putting into this reduce function uh, to iterate over uh, and then this 1 means that we're going to start with 1 in the accumulator portion of the reduce function. So it's going to start with 1 and then you can see with this lambda function, what we do is we're going to take the accumulator, which starts with 1, and either add, uh, so x, uh, and then 1 is the value here, and then this enumerate list, this enumerate object. So we'll add it, or we may multiply that number uh, that's in that one position. If the index value is divisible by 2, then we're actually going to multiply it. And if it is not divisible by 2, then we're going to add it. So this modulus means if you take whatever your value is, divide it by that, and it'll give you what the remainder is. So when you're divided by 2, it tells you if the remainder is 0, that it's an even number. And if the remainder is 1, then it's an odd number. And this is evaluating to either 0 or 1, which applies to whether it becomes true or false. So let's go through how this would start going. So first thing it would do is it would evaluate this for index 0 here. And since 0 divided by 2 is 0, and 0 is false, it's going to multiply that number. So it's going to start with 1 times 1 because that's the value here. So the accumulator is 1, and it's going to multiply by this first value, which is 1. So we're going to have 1. So let's just put that here. So it's going to be 1 times 1, which gives you 1. Whoops. Sorry, my code editor wants to update. Thanks for me. So then it's going to go to the next value, and then we're going to do what this index is, uh, modulus with 2, and that's going to be 1, so that evaluates to true then. 
because one equals true. And so we're gonna add this value here, which is two. So we're gonna take this accumulator here, which is one. We're gonna take one plus two, which is gonna give us three. So now we're at three. And then we go uh, again, the next index, which is two. So two modulus two equals zero. So this evaluates to false. So we're gonna do this portion of it. So we're gonna do the accumulator, which here is three. Three times the value here, which is three. It's gonna give us nine. All right, so we're done with, let's just delete these because we're done with these. So I don't get confused. All right, so we're on to the next index, which is three. So three modulus two equals one. So this is then true. And then we're gonna take the accumulator plus uh, this value here, which is four. So we're gonna do nine plus four, which is gonna give us 13. All right, so we're done with that. So it moves on to the next one. So we've got an index value of four. So four modulus two is zero because there's no remainder. So that evaluates to false. So we're gonna multiply the next uh, value here, which is five. So we're gonna do 13 times five, which is 65. Yeah. All right, so now we just have the last one here. So if you've already gotten the logic, you can kind of just stop watching the video at this point, but I'm just gonna finish it out. Um, so we've got the index value of five. So five modulus two equals one, so this evaluates to true. So we're gonna add the next number. So we're gonna do the accumulator, which is 65. And we're gonna add six. That gives us 71. So thankfully that is the number that we were targeting. So this code works. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that logic and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.